What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and if you're fortunate enough to live in an area that does not get as hot as Satan's balls in the summertime, then this video might not apply to you. But for the rest of us that live in a hot climate, especially Southern California, yes, I know there's hotter places on the planet, guys, but this is where I live, this is what I deal with, today, it's approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 38 C. And by next week, it's supposed to get up to about 42 C here. That's hot. So I got some tips to help keep your system nice and cool and running optimal in the summertime. And maybe this will help you. Who knows? Dude, right here, this is the best part right here. Watch uh, this, watch this. Guys, this is a new Celsius S36 from Fractal Design. Yeah, so? But do you know what it does? Yeah, it makes things cool. Yeah, cooler. Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I am super excited to be doing a video with the one and only Nick's Two Cents. Yo, I am excited, man. So, so what, what are we doing? Today, we're gonna review the Celsius S36. I get that a lot. Terry, what's up? Sure, I could give you some workout tips. How's tomorrow sound? Awesome, later. So cool. The new Celsius S36 can make almost anything cooler. Almost. I'm so cool. So cool. Now the reason why I'm using this case right here is it's not a sponsored video. This is not this was not sponsored by Cooler Master, but it's a case that I'm using because I think it's a perfect example of where case designers are moving towards when it comes to modern case design and how it can definitely affect you negatively, especially in the summertime. Now this is the Cooler Master Master Case 6. It's pretty neat, it's modular. I've done a review, like showed it in the build log how it works. But unfortunately, it's got this really nice, smooth, solid front panel. Well, that obviously doesn't exactly promote the most positive of airflow. Well, you can, of course, make a gap. It's designed to do that. So you create a little bit of a gap on the side. But the problem is the air has to come in through the sides and then make another 90 and go through a fan filter and then through the fans and then in this case through a radiator and then into the rest of the system. Well, by the time the air goes through all of that, it's lost most of its velocity. And with that, it's all also its pressure. Now, obviously, if you're not using this case, this may not directly apply to you, but the concepts we're gonna talk about today can definitely apply to most cases, most cases on the market. Now, fortunately, this one here has a little flip down face. What that allows me to do is open it up and get all kinds of extra airflow here. Well, what if this is next to your chair or it's in a little cubby and you don't want this hanging out because you don't wanna bump it with your chair and break it off? Unfortunately, you can remove this one. And a lot of cases are now offering removable front doors that either swing all the way around backwards and then you get what looks like a more traditional case here. So if you don't have one of these cases that have a door in the front, this is kind of where you start to apply. What we've got right here is three intakes on the front on a 360 millimeter radiator. This right here, the mesh fan filter material, although it really helps with dust, it also dramatically reduces airflow. And in keeping things cool, especially in the summertime when the air is already hot and it doesn't have a lot of capacity left in it to hold hot air, hot air and transfer it away, you need as much volume of air as you can to kind of make up that difference. So what I would do, if it were me, I would literally just remove this thing. But it should be common sense, obviously, this is a trade-off here of increased dust into the system, you have to clean your system more often, and the possibility of damaging a fan or your finger or your ego by sticking a hand or a finger or a cattail in there. Don't do that. You got any chicken? Now what about the top of the case? That's just as important as the front, especially if you're going for neutral pressure, equal air in and equal air out is gonna give you the most airflow that you possibly can. Well, at least this case here allows this little pop up here to get a gap, but again, it still has to make these crazy turns to let the air out, okay? This one at least also allows for the removal of the top panel, which I've always felt was kind of weird. It's like magnetic. You can see right there, it's magnetic and it's got little tabs. Obviously, when you remove the top cover though, if you don't have fan filters on the top, then uh, yeah, you have exposed fans. So you could, you know, again, accidentally drop something in there. Your, your cat could go to lay on the top of your PC thinking there's a cover because that's what it's used to and it turns into a cat wood chipper. I know, that's terrible, that's a terrible example, but I think it applies. 
Now this case doesn't actually have a fan filter on the top because it's pretty much meant purely as an exhaust and it has this solid cover. But a lot of cases these days do have a fan filter on the exhaust side. That's something you should definitely remove because it can increase the airflow. Now this next one we're gonna show here, I think we've, this next one we're gonna show here, I think we've all tried at least once. And I don't wanna drop the case off of the table. This thing keeps trying to jump off the table and I want it to turn into a Linus situation. Now some folks will just, take the side panel off the case and call it a day. The problem with that is you've just removed all promoted airflow. Even if you're water cooled like I am here on the CPU, there's things on here that require air to stay cool. Not only your GPU, but that has fans to kind of promote its own airflow, but your RAM, your power delivery, your chipset, your hard drives, other things require air to keep them cool. So you can't just let the air come out the side of the case and go and do its own thing. The exhaust fans are gonna get most of its air from right here on the top of the case because of the fact that just like water, air wants the path of least resistance, so it'll just kind of come in the top right here and go out. The exhaust fan on the back will just pull air from right here, and this air coming in the front will just go out this way. Some air will make it through the top, but most of it will go this way. If there was a side panel, it has no choice but to go to these exhaust fans running across the components on the way. So if you want to take your side panel off and you want to do the ghetto mod, well, this is what we suggest. She hand me that... Uh, that ghetto mod there. Check this out. We got lucky with this one. This was like 15 bucks at Lowe's, if that. Might have been 10 or 15 bucks. It's like the exact size of this case. Look at that. Does that, I mean, could that possibly fit any better, Nick? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, obviously, if you do this, you're gonna have a lot of dust being shoved into your system if you live in a dusty area. So Nick had this great idea, and we didn't think about it until we were doing this video, so we didn't get to demonstrate it. You could actually like gaff tape on here that screen mesh material like you would get at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store that you'd make a home window screen out of. Could put it on here and then, or hell, put it on the backside. That makes more sense. Tape it to the backside, that way it's sucked to the grate and doesn't blow out. Put that against your system and well, you've got custom extreme air cooling. So much airflow goes through this though that the top fans and the exhaust fans are actually spinning. Now, all the things I've mentioned so far, with the exception of the fan, have been free, right? Open up your case, allow better airflow, stick a fan on the side. If you have one already, that's kind of taken care of. But the next couple of suggestions might actually cost you some money. That being putting better fans in your system. Most fans that come with cases are cheap. They know people are gonna mostly throw those away and get better fans, so they don't put very good fans in there. So I would recommend going with fans that are meant for the job, depending on where they go. So obviously I have static pressure fans on the front of this case because we're pushing directly into a radiator. And then we have airflow fans, 140 millimeter fans on the three exhausts. So these are high CFM fans. The, the bigger the fan blades, the more CFM, but lo usually lower the pressure. But in a case in terms of airflow, it's all about CFM or cubic feet per minute. So optimizing your fan placement and also the type of fans that you're using is key. The other thing is making sure that all of the fan positions on, the, on your case are utilized. A lot of people will just go with one exhaust on the top and one exhaust in the rear when you could fit three fans on top. They'll put one or two in the front when they could put three. And then balancing your pressures is also a big deal. So slowing down the fans on the exhaust if they have more flow than what's coming in to making sure you get at least neutral or positive pressure would be beneficial. You could of course, run the exhaust fans balls to the wall, but then you might have negative pressure pulling air in through the crevices and the cracks and these vents, which will promote extra dust in the system, but not necessarily give you better cooling. So fan balancing, that's a whole nother video topic, but it's something we're talking about. Now the last one here is kind of the most expensive and that being if your case doesn't have very good design in terms of airflow, it might be time for a better or bigger case. One designed more for, with airflow in mind, and maybe has a little bit larger volumetric measurement inside of the case because the larger volume at least has a bigger supply of air available to the components inside which would give you less radiant heat for the parts in there like the gpu and the ram and the motherboard heating up the space around it you have a bigger volume of air to try and help keep things cool that's a little bit extreme it's up to you to decide whether or not a new case is in order so anyway those are just some of the basic tips i usually use and utilize between all my friends and family's pcs every single summer because every single summer it's a good time to do a tune-up on your system. So my question is, do you think I missed anything or do you think there are some better suggestions? If so, put them in the comments of this video. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I do like the box fan idea. 
I, I want to do a video where we actually test that and see how much the temperatures came down. What do you think? Down. Hit like if you want to see that. Yeah, I pulled a Linus. Deal with it. That sounds all hunky dory, but what if I don't have money for a case? Well, I'm glad you asked because right now with Tunnel Bear, you can. <laughs> Linus, I love you. <laughs>